Godfather of Gangster Rap, also known as the idea man behind NWA. Here is Easy es home he first bought when he first started out. This is real. I say it's reality. If gangster is reality, I guess that's it. Gangster. It's cool. <laughs> I never intended to rap in my life. I had a little money, I started a record company and ended up rapping about stuff that I've been through. Dre was good as a producer. Ice Cube was a good writer and rapper. Randy was a strong rapper and writer. And Yellow was a producer. And then myself. So we formed NWA. We just took it to another level. Right here is the house that Easy E first bought. Uh, probably in the early 90s joined here by my good buddy Scott on tape What's going on Scott? I'm most representing Toronto. Oh, yeah, Toronto boy over here. What's funny is uh, the next door house is a picture of Jerry Heller and Easy e They're actually standing Right in front of this house and they were they were actually being built these houses I'm not sure which ones but there's an interview right with about Here on the driveway a bit. Yeah, right here there was a Century 21 for say, uh, actually sold sign, and uh, Easy E and Jerry Heller took a photo in front of it. And there's an interview that was done with Jerry Heller. He actually says that you know it was just a mistake that they took a picture in front of the wrong house. There's there's, like, there's another story that uh, this his actual house wasn't built yet and it was being built, so they just took a photo in front of this house. Difference is driveway is on the opposite side. See that driveways to the right side and this one's on the left side, so. It makes sense if they were just thinking, you know, okay, we'll just pose in front of any house, but also they could have bought a house and they kind of do look the exact same. They do. And they were be being built around the same time. But yeah, Jerry Heller says that uh, it was just a mistake. Took a picture in front of the wrong house. But that is his actual house that he first bought. So. Another cool thing about this house is in the backyard, Easy E does a photo shoot for the for the album. Uh, it's on not this wall, but the wall over towards the back. He's uh, standing against the wall and he's pouring out a 40 of Old English. So right here is another iconic pic of Easy in front of his 1963 Impala. You can see this uh, wall up here on the 605 freeway. see that and Easy's basically right here. So everyone pretty much knows the story of NWA, Easy e Ice Cube and Dr. Dre came up with Boys in the Hood. They convinced Easy e to rap it. And the rest is history. The original members of the group were Arabian Prince, MC Ren, Ice Cube, Easy e DJ Yella, Dr. Dre. The original lineup formed in early 1987 with MC Ren joining a year later. Easy e had a few houses, but this one right here, it's his baby. His very first house. Pretty nice little uh, area right here. Calm, quiet. It's another location that me and Scott are going to be heading to, and it is the hospital where Easy e was taken to when he first started feeling symptoms which they thought was a cold and uh, we're about to go to that hospital it's called the Norwalk Community Hospital this is the hospital that Easy e was brought to after he'd been experiencing a really bad cough and chest pain at first he thought it was asthma but he didn't have asthma his bodyguards the twins brought him here that was in February of 95 yeah February 95 brought him here and they Took him to the emergency, which is down that way. So they kept him overnight, the doctors, and they diagnosed him with having bronchitis. They gave him an inhaler. So he left the next day. He went to a studio. He was supposed to throw down a verse, record a verse with BG, the rapper. And yeah. in the studio, BG couldn't find him. And he found him on the floor gasping for Eric. So Eric, he went home to his place in Topanga, not to the Norwalk house. Went to the place, his place in Topanga, and that's where he became more ill and he was taken to Cedar sinai 
in March of 95, and that's where he ultimately passed away from AIDS-related pneumonia. AIDS-induced pneumonia, and this hospital isn't much far from his Norwalk house, what, seven minutes. This is the hospital he was brought to before he was diagnosed with HIV. Right here in Norwalk, Southeast LA. Norwalk Community Hospital. It's so small too, it's a really small hospital. Sad, sad story. All right, you guys, it's gonna be it for me here in front of the Norwalk Community Hospital visiting the place where Easy e was brought when he first started feeling symptoms. Uh, it's gonna be it. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe to Scott on Tape. Uh, he's got a lot of good things coming. Don't, don't miss out. Uh, Thank you, Paul. Yeah, man. I'll uh, see you guys. I'll see you on the next time you come back. Yeah, 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 for sure. Are you guys, I'm always gonna be back. Always. Yeah. Be back. Hey, you guys. Thanks for joining me. See you guys in the next video.